One of the things we talk about the most on IPHD is soils, because it's something that we don't think gets nearly enough press out there. Everybody focuses on NP and K, but let's talk about the other things that are going on in the soil. And one of the things that we always look at on the soil test is base saturation. It's a measurement of five different cations in the soil, and it's just the ratio of one to the other. And the number in the end is all going to add up to 100%. Specifically here with calcium, we want the calcium percentage to be 65 to 80%. We want the magnesium percentage to be 12 to 25%. Potassium should be 4 to 8%. Hydrogen should be less than 10 percent and sodium less than one percent. If the numbers are outside those bounds, then you've got to do something about it in your soil. And I realize that, you know, there are a lot of people out there that talk about this calcium to magnesium ratio and everything else. We don't worry too much about that. What we do worry about is getting that percentage at least close to right. And the thing is, let's say you're at 27% magnesium and we want you to be 25% or less. Is it dramatically hurting your yield? Probably not. But what we're trying to tell you is if you're at 27%, or especially if you're at 30, 35, 40% magnesium, it is hurting your yield. It is affecting your soil. And there are different things that happen in your soil. So like with magnesium, if that percentage gets real high, we know that you've got a very tight soil, poorly drained, and it's usually very easily compacted. Those are all bad things when we're talking about having a great soil. Well, Brian, a lot of people aren't quite as passionate about soil tests and getting the right nutrients into their plants as we are, but you look at out in a field and you say, you know, all right, my base saturation says I've got 3% potassium. How do you guys know that 4% is going to make that much difference? Right, the reason instead that of that parts per million thing, and that's the whole deal. With a lot of labs, they'll tell you parts per million is important. We'll tell you, no, that's not the most important thing. It's this base saturation. Well, and when we look at plant tissue analysis out in fields, this is really where you get the report card for the fertility in your right. field. You know, you look at, okay, I'm, my base saturation is a little bit low. Let's see what the plant is really pulling up. And our plant tissue analysis shows us if we've got less than 4% potassium on our base saturation, our plants are almost always short in potassium out in the field. Once we get up into that 4 to 8% range, we see happy plants and our tissue analysis comes back that plants have plenty of potassium. It's not a yield limiting factor. So what we're trying to say is we're able to prove the fact that we need these percentages by having good or bad plant tissue analysis. So do the best you can to get good soil samples, work with a good lab that's giving you a base saturation test. It doesn't cost that much money. It's really going to help you out when you're trying to get your soils adjusted. And it isn't a short term fix a lot of times. It might take Take five or ten years to get these numbers right, but once you do, you're going to have higher yields. One other thing that leads to higher yields is good weed control. Our Weed of the Week is coming up next.